You're watching a special edition of Medical News Network, your trusted source for the latest in the medical and dental procedures making your life better. I'm Mike Wigenstein, and thanks for joining us. On today's show, we're going to take a look at hyperbarics. What is it? How does it work? And what can it do for you? I've heard all kinds of things from it can help cancer, it can grow new blood vessels, it can help people with diabetes not lose limbs. So we brought our cameras to Orange County to the Center for New Medicine, the hyperbaric department, and Dr. Jolly to find out exactly what it can do. So my advice, sit back, relax, get comfortable, and we'll see you in a minute. Welcome to an educational and comprehensive discussion with today's top medical experts. Your trusted source for the latest in medical news and information. You're watching Medical News Network. Welcome back. We're here with Dr. Jolly at the Center for New Medicine, the hyperbaric department. And Dr. Jolly, now we currently have a patient in a chamber. That's right. This gentleman doesn't look like he's in too much pressure. I will tell you, these chambers are kind of scary to me. When I first came in, until you started explaining them to, to what they do to me, they, they, they were a little concerning. I mean, they look big and scary, but he obviously is not having a problem. And you're going to show me a little bit later in the show how somebody goes in, what they go through, and what happens to their body and then they, when they come out. Absolutely. But before we get to that, tell me, what is, hyperbaric sounds like a big, giant word, like it's this big, scary thing. W what is hyperbaric, actually, and what does it do for you? Let's take a look at the word, hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Hyper means higher than normal, more than normal. Baric has to do with atmospheric conditions and pressure. So we're dealing with higher than normal pressure. The reason we want to do that is because there is a natural law, physical law, that clearly states that wherever there is pressure in an environment, in a closed environment, with a gas in that same environment, the pressure will cause the gas to dissolve into whatever liquids are present in the environment. And in a hyperbaric chamber, you represent the liquid. Your blood, your body fluids all represent the liquid. You're in an enclosed environment under pressure. The pressure is created by compressors and, and medical purification systems. And the oxygen, 100% oxygen that you're breathing is the gas. So the pressure dissolves the gas into your body. Oxygen is the most important thing our body uses. Without it, we die in a couple of minutes. Well, now, you, you well, you, you made that point to me. We can live without food and water for days, weeks, or months, but we can't live without oxygen. No, not for more than a few minutes. Everything I've researched says that oxygen is pretty much the key for healing. It is the key. So take me through what kind of people would normally benefit from a hyperbaric chamber. I mean, I, we're going to meet some patients, obviously. We're going to talk to them. Some have more energy. Some had sores. Or, but what, who, who mainly can benefit from this? Anybody can benefit from higher levels of oxygenation. Anybody. In terms of specific problems, there are many diabetics who have to have amputations because blood flow is compromised. Right. I have an aunt who is losing a piece of her body as, as her d disease progresses. Well, we can help about 90% of those people not have amputations. And one thing that the hyperbaric therapy will do, it induces what's called angiogenesis. Angiogenesis is the body's capability of growing new blood vessels. When new blood vessels grow to replace the damaged ones that are caused by an injury or by a diabetic problem or whatever, new blood vessels will attach around the area, supply blood to the area, which means supply oxygen to the area. So are you telling me that a hyperbaric chamber because I know that my relative loses her digits and now up her because there's no blood flow. The oxygen isn't getting there. Are you telling me that hyperbaric can help regrow vessels in that? I am absolutely telling you that. What about people then with strokes or heart disease? <clears throat> well, an injury is an injury. And an injury to the brain is usually based on some damage to the brain that impairs blood flow that therefore will affect neurons, brain, brain neurons. And if you want to activate or reactivate those neurons or, or pump them up a little bit to make them function more efficiently, give more blood flow, which will give more oxygen, and that generally will happen. And then the rehab efforts will be much more effective because the brain is functioning at a much higher level, and that's how we treat brain injury. Is this a standard for most people that have a stroke or have a heart condition? Mm -hmm. Do their doctors normally 
put them through hyperbaric? Not in the United States. In some countries, it's almost mandatory that hyperbarics be used immediately because if it's used immediately after a stroke, it can generally stop the symptoms from developing. I came to hyperbaric oxygen. I had read about it, and uh, I had cancer, and some of the other protocols had failed. So I read about it, and I said, this should be interesting. You should try it. And I was very happy. Uh, did the hyperbaric oxygen. I felt good. Uh, the rate of, from the measurements they were taking, the cancer wasn't gaining on me, and uh, I was happy. It may have started when I was about 33 years old, and I just had no energy. And I have tried all the supplements. I have tried hormones. I have been to 99 doctors, and the regular doctors, I'm sorry to say, don't have an answer for this problem. And I really think it is a thyroid problem. And my mother had it before me, intolerance for cold, and always the body temperature is a little lower. And this has just helped so very much. All right, now this is patient J Jason. Jason. And you're going to show us with Jason, you're okay with this, I hope, yes. you're going to show us exactly what somebody would go through going into the hyperbaric chamber. Because to be honest with you, you know, I've talked to a lot of people and some people thought it was a kind of a scary experience. So you're going to go through exactly what anybody that came in here would go through, correct? Correct. Okay, please. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a mask on Jason so that we can deliver oxygen directly to his face so that we don't fill the hyperbaric chamber with oxygen. We do that for safety purposes so that he breathes 100% oxygen delivered to the mask assembly. Jason, I'm going to ask if you would please lie down the way you normally do when you have your treatments. Okay. And now I'm hooking the oxygen, live oxygen, to the mask assembly. And then, Jason, I'm going to put you into the chamber. I'll slowly roll you in. Okay. Jason, are you doing all right? I'm, I'm doing great. Okay, good. I'm going to start pressurizing you now. Okay, now what's going on right now is this is actually pressurizing. You're, you're adjusting the knobs. You're, you're getting all the pressure up. He's basically going to feel like he's going up in an airplane, maybe? He, he will feel like he's landing in an airplane, actually landing in an airplane, or if he's driving in the mountains. So he's just going to feel a little pressure. Now, Now, can I, can I talk to him through this? Of course. Okay, let me, let me get on here real quick. Now, Jason, is it, are you feel, is it becoming uncomfortable at all for you? No, not at all. It's, it's a little pressure. You feel the pressure, but it's not uncomfortable. Okay, and now, so what you're going to do now is just lay there, I guess, and you can watch TV, you can do whatever, take a nap. I mean, yeah. that's it? Sometimes I take a nap, sometimes I watch a movie, so. Oh. Okay, well then lay back and enjoy it, and we'll talk to you again in a moment. All right, thanks. So now Jason is in there, and he's going to be in there for an hour, basically. I, protocol treatment about an hour? Yes, an hour under pressure. So what does he do in there? I mean, I, he's obviously, hold, let me ask him. Hey, Jason, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So am I to take it that you're watching a movie of France while you're doing your treatment? Yeah, I sure am. Can you basically watch anything you want to while you're in there? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. And you're still no pressure? You're not feeling any discomfort whatsoever? No, not at all. All right, we'll check back with, with you again in a moment. Okay, now, so he's in there. Obviously watching some beautiful scenery of France. You could watch a movie. This is almost like a little time to get away. It is a wonderful. 